okay so in this video we will be uh, getting an or having an example on how to get the relationship presented on a Venn diagram okay so we have here the Venn diagram so we have a sample sp space s so this is our um, sample space s so we shall use this things okay so this is our sample space okay then we have three events so this events a events b and events c then we have our sample point so we have sample point seven then two six uh, three one four and five so we just call this one because they are inside a uh, the circumference of circles so we will put it as regions okay regions so we will be trying to get the relationship between a b and c for example the intersect the intersection of a the union of uh, the intersection of a and b the union of b and c a so first let's try getting the um, union so the union of um, a and c okay so which of these regions re represent the union of a and c okay so by definition you could say that the union of two events is the elements that are common to a or b uh, have some difficulty in our screen so a or a or b or both uh, a or c or both a or c okay so in a we have in a the regions which is included on event a are let's start with seven then we have two so this is still a so it's just up that one four and we have one okay now for a uh, c so we have also four so it is already repeated for a one and we have three and five okay so this is now the union of a and c so if you are going to write this, that one in uh, ascending order so you have one two three four five and seven okay, so that is the union of a and c okay next we will be having the complement of b which is the intersection of a okay. so intersection of the complement of b and a so we are go going to get the regions okay so the intersection are the complement of b are those which are covered uh, are those elements that are not covered by b okay so therefore our six two and three is out of the uh, list of possible regions that is uh, that will be included in our brace so how do you have one two three and six so they are not included because they are the events included in b so the b complement is the event are uh, the regions that are not included in b so we have here the candidate seven four and five now we are looking also for the intersection of um a so we have a so meaning that the the complements of b so our complements of b is seven and four seven four and five which is the region that is on a and c okay these three regions and also it intersects the event a so what region that intersects event a so the there are only two region that intersects the event a which is also a complement of b which is seven and four so we could write that one just like in ascending order four and seven so regions four and seven is the uh, intersection of complement b and a okay next we have 
A intersection B so this will be a, a very good um, region intersection C okay. so our we are going to get a region that intersects on A, B, and C so a region that is common so when you say just have it um, simpler the region that is common that is the intersection Okay, or the element that is common that is the intersection the element that is the combination of the two events that will be the union okay the the element that is not present on a certain event so that will be the complement okay so that is how we are going to summarize intersection complement and union okay so this is intersect so a intersects b intersects c so we need to find the common region here or the common element so we will need to find the region that contain that is contained by a b and c so and that region is one so region one is contained by a it is also contained by b and also contained by c so the answer here is just Okay, next. So we have E, A, union, B. Okay. And also intersecting the complement C. Okay, so little harder this time. Okay. So we have A, union, B. So the union of A and B are, so we see union all of the events that is common to A and B and including the A and B element itself or the combination of the elements of A and B and that will be 1 so we could have this one just simplify this one here we have here 1 3 then we have 4 so we have also 2 this one and we have six and seven okay now we are looking for the union or the 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 element that is intersecting no? intersecting c complement so this will be so it's just we write this one because this is much um complex no from um this is a much complex relationship Okay, so we have our A union B is equal to, uh, we have 1, 2, just arrange that one from uh, in ascending order, 4, 6, and 7. Okay, then our um, C complement, so our C complement is equal to, so the C complement is the uh, events that is um, on C, no? That is not on C. So the, this is our C. So the regions. So that I mean region not events. And our event C. So the regions on our event C is one, three, four, and five. This one. So the complement is those regions that are not on C, which is um, seven. 2 and 6 okay. now in this given in this problem we have the intersection of this um, event and this event so then the intersection meaning the common so what is common of them is 2 6 and 7 so our intersection so we have the the intersection of A union B and the C complement is or R 2, 6, and 7. Okay, so that is the answer for the intersection of E union B and the C complement. Okay, so that is um, how we are going to answer um, our uh, or how we are going to get the relationship of the events presented 
using the Venn diagram. If we could get this one, we could also have the reverse, which is uh, making a Venn diagram out of the given relationship. Okay, so that will be all for this video. And as always, thank you for watching and enjoy learning.